Hello everyone and welcome to this new video on doing bulk text replacements with Power Query. Now in this uh, scenario we actually have a question that came from the excelguru.ca forum uh, on the Power Query subgroup or sub forum and we actually have this table that is completely in Spanish and we have some vowels that have some accents that are only available in the Spanish language. So you're gonna see that the A has this uh, really nice, really cool uh, hat on top of it, basically this accent, and the rest of the vowels have the same. And we wanna replace each of those letters or characters with the one on the right. So this is the old text, the one that we wanna replace, and this is the, the, the values that we're gonna be used to replace the one on the left. Now, the text strings are actually found on this table on the assignment uh, or tarea uh, column. So it's this one. And um, probably the best way to do replacements is by going just directly to Power Query. So you're just gonna go directly to Power Query. You're gonna select the column and just gonna hit replace values. And with this, you're gonna look for the values to find and replace with, just like that. Now what happened with this is that you're gonna have to do this in pairs. So every time that you wanna replace just one character, just one phrase, just one text string, you're gonna have to click on the replace values, define what value to find, and then what value to use so you can actually replace that. And you're gonna be doing that for all of the text strings that you wanna replace, which might actually get tedious. Now, this is the most optimal way to actually go with, but there is another way where you need to actually create a code that will automatically look for all the combinations that you wanna replace and just do it in just one go. So we're gonna talk about that. I have this assignments too, I'm gonna just delete it and I'm gonna go to this function that I created. I'm gonna go to the advanced editor and you're gonna notice that is quite the formula. It's quite the function. And this function is actually using a function in M called list.generate. Now what list.generate is gonna allow me to do is that it's gonna allow me to basically create iterations based on, on, on a table and it can actually use the value of the previous element of a list to actually uh, perform uh, a transformation. So list.generate works with a function. As you can see here, this is list.generate. It's gonna allow me to uh, define a function and the function needs to have a list three parameters. So the first one is actually the uh, in each initial state, basically the first element of the list, which is gonna be this one. So this is a record that defines everything that is gonna be inside that first element. Then it's gonna basically tell me when to perform new elements or when to create new elements. And for that, I'm actually using this uh, uh, logical way where I'm saying that uh, you have to perform every time that the counter, which is something that I actually define up here, is less than max iterations. Now, what is max iterations? It's something that I actually define up here. And it's actually the table dot row count. Why the table dot row count of the translations table? Uh, well, that is because each row in my translations table is actually a transformation in itself. So it's a replace value transformation. So once I actually do the table dot row count, I can understand or I know how many iterations I actually need. So that's nice. So I actually created that. I can actually do the each counter has to be, or each. Uh, this is basically to tell that for every counter that is less than max iteration, then perform, and this is the term parameter, this uh, transformation in itself for result, which is actually something that I defined up here, result, 
has to be equals to text.replace. And this is actually using result, which is the previous value uh, on the list. And then using uh, the parameters inside the text replace uh, to actually uh, do the transformation. And once that is, that is actually over, uh, the result of that list.generate is going to be uh, the result uh, element. And once that is actually over the list.generate, which is the iterations, I'm going to grab the last element of the list created by the list.generate, the previous step, using the uh, accessibility or the list navigation. And that way, the output is going to be just a text value uh, that has been transformed uh, or a text stream that has been transformed after doing all the text uh, value replacement. This is basically the whole function. And what I can do, what I can do here is that I can actually go to, uh, I'm going to delete this, this too. There we go. So I'm going to go to the assignments table. I'm going to select the assignments or assignment column or tarea, add column, invoke custom function. Let's go ahead and put this as Excel guru and function query is going to be that function that I created. It needs one parameter, which is going to be the text uh, X stream that I want to do those transformations, which is going to be the tarea. Just click OK. And you're going to notice that all of the uh, ones with accents or tildes have been replaced just like this, which is really nice. Now, the reason why I wouldn't recommend this with millions of rows, and I wouldn't recommend it, is because the list.generate, uh, it uses uh, an iteration process, so it can actually be really slow if you apply this function against millions of rows. So if you probably have millions of rows at table with millions of extra text strings that you want to just do a text replacement, probably the best one, the best way to actually tackle that scenario is to look for the unique values on the column that has the text strings. So for example, before actually doing the, the actual text replacements, the bulk text replacement, you want to duplicate it, the assignments. There we go. And this is going to be the unique tareas. So you're going to be able to simply remove other columns and you're going to go ahead and remove duplicate. Once you actually have a uh, distinct values on this column, you can actually apply the custom function. So go ahead and apply the custom function and and this one up here, you're basically going to uh, propagate the values from the unique tareas to this one using a simple merge. So you're going to merge it uh, with unique tareas. So this one, and you're going to simply do this right here. Go for it and just simply expand this to get the record or the value from the other column. And this can actually save you a lot of time and a lot of resources because you're not going to be calculating the same value twice or three times or four times or even 20 times. You're just going to calculate it one, uh, one time and then you're going to simply propagate it to the tables that actually need those values. And that being said, if you want to actually download this workbook, just go ahead and check the description of this video and you're going to be able to actually download that copy of this workbook. Thanks.